Okay, welcome to uh, lesson 7.3 on applications of averages. Um, okay, so what we're going to talk about today is um, we've learned about uh, our three types of uh, averages, and that is the mean, the median, and the mode. And what we're going to uh, learn today is that sometimes um, one of those is um, is sort of a more important measure than the other, that one of them might make more sense to take than the other two. So let's look at an example. Uh, Khalil is running a new fundraiser where he's selling handcrafted sandals. <clears throat> the table below shows the number of sandals uh, sold in each size after the first day. So in size 3 he sold one sandal, in size 4 he sold two sandals, and so on. Okay, we need to find the mean, median, and mode of the shoe sizes that were sold, and then it asks us which one we think is going to be the most useful to Cleo in this case. Uh, one thing we might want to do when we have our data set up on a table like this, uh, that's useful, but um, it's probably better to kind of um, organize our data in, uh, in a line like we've been doing so far. So for example, we have one size three, uh, two size fours, three size fives, uh, two size sixes, six size sevens, and one size eight. Okay, and I guess no size nines. Um, okay, so we're going to find the mean, median, and mode of these shoe sizes. So first up, let's find the mean. And the mean is going to be adding up all of these shoe sizes. So 3 plus 4 plus 4. And we have to divide by the total number of sizes that we add up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, it looks like our uh, median shoe size is somewhere between 5 and 6. Let's call it an average of uh, 5.9 is our mean. Alright, next up we'll find our median. So uh, in finding our median, this is where it's useful maybe to go back to our, to our number line here and we can kind of cancel them off at each end until we reach our middle point. And looks like, left alone in the middle, our median is 6. And the last step is to find the mode. And the mode is simply our most often size, which in this case is 7. So let's just do a quick recap here. Our mean is 5.9. Our median is 6, and our mode is 7. So which of these three ways of finding the average is going to be the most useful? Well, um, if you think about what uh, Khalil's doing, he's selling uh, sandals of different sizes. Uh, first of all, 5.9 uh, as an average uh, technically, that is the, an average, but um, there's no shoe with a size of 5.9. So I'm not really sure what this number is even really telling me. Uh, it it kind of doesn't exist, so I'm not sure that's going to be the most useful um, piece of information. Now, at the same time, the median tells me which shoe size was in the middle, but um, how do I know if... Uh, there was lots of really big and lots of really small, or all of the shoes were clustered in the middle. So again, this doesn't really end up being um, uh, all that useful of a number. However, uh, the mode, if you think about it, the mode is the most commonly occurring 
number. So in this case, that's the shoe size that he sold the most of. So if Khalil was planning for his next day, he'd probably be most interested in the mode because that would tell him exactly uh, which of the shoes he sold the most of. So in this case, the mode is the most useful. So we have some general um, guidelines to go by. Uh, what we can say is, uh, if there are no significant outliers, um, then generally we're going to use the mean. That is, if all of our numbers are fairly close together. If uh, there are some significant outliers, then we're going to use the median. And if the thing we're measuring is some sort of specific measure, so if that's a shoe size or something like that, then we're going to look at... All right, that's it for 7.3.